Hey guys, do you like posts on Facebook or like tweets on Twitter? Well, did you know that if you click like on the wrong one, you could lose your clearance? Now, this is mainly for DOD contractors or DOD federal employees and active duty service members. Last month, Fed Week reported that DOD recently updated their regulations, and now it includes posting, linking, liking, or retweeting extremist activities to overthrow the government or the association or sympathy with persons or organizations that are trying to prevent federal government officials from performing their duties and preventing others from exercising their rights. So this doesn't mean that you have to be associated with them. No, this is simply expressing sympathy. So for instance, if on the news you hear that, let's say Sergeant Jones was found at the checkpoint with a, with a whole trunk full of weapons and bombs and he had this huge plan, and, you're, and you stop to think to yourself, Man, Sergeant Jones, that's too bad it happened to that guy because you know what? He was a stand-up fella if it wasn't for that one incident because there was this one time he really helped me out. That is expressing sympathy. So if you sympathize with individuals that have performed extremist actions, if there's record of you doing that, then you could definitely lose your clearance. And what's more is you can come under an investigation and worse things could end up happening to you. So what are extremist activities? Well. That can vary depending on what your ideology is. What are your beliefs? What are your values? This can often come down to how you were raised, who the people were around you, and what do they believe. If you grew up in one area and your mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, and your friends always thought one type of way, they always thought, well, the government should be doing this, or the president should be doing this, and they constantly brought up those type of topics and those type of ideas, believe it or not, it had a high probability of influencing the way that you think and your beliefs. Most of us are conditioned to believe that our ideas are the correct ones. So you can think about it like this. The world isn't so much as good versus evil, but it's really good versus good because each side believe that they are the right. Each side believes that they are the good. No one really believes that they are the evil or they are the bad. So people are getting confused with what is right and what is wrong. So what caused this revision? I think most of you guys probably know. It was the attack on the Capitol that occurred on January 2021. Because of that, lawmakers revisited the regulations. So you have to understand when you're scrolling through your feed and you see something that's interesting or strange, you have to think twice or even three times before you click on that heart button or before you click on that thumbs up button because that will leave a history and if someone comes back behind you and investigates it and say, oh wait, this individual, he sympathizes with this cause or he likes this, this group or this association, that can easily put your clearance in jeopardy. Better yet, if you see a post that you believe to be extremist or you think someone else might feel that way, it might be best just to hide it completely so it doesn't keep showing up on your feed. Now picture this. What if you have your phone open, say it's on the coffee table, on the couch, on the dinner table, and then your kid or somebody comes along, picks up your phone, and it's open for whatever reason, and they just start slamming the like button on everything. Who knows what's on there? And the next thing you know, you're getting a phone call, and now you're under investigation. Somebody's trying to figure out why you like this radical post or this extreme post, and why did you share it? But it wasn't you. It was your kid, or it was somebody visiting your house for that day. Can you imagine? How that might make you feel? I know it sounds crazy, but hypothetically, it seems like this could happen. So what are the safeguards against this? You can say always lock your phone or always carry your phone with you so people are not able to access it. But I don't think that's a realistic safeguard. It'll work at 90% of the time, but what about the other 10%? I feel as we move forward with the social media and as technology keeps on advancing, we're going to see cases like this where people are contesting whether they liked or whether they shared a post. They're going to be saying, it wasn't me. So we'll see how this plays out in the future. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Well, that wraps up this video. If you click like, you could lose your clearance. If you like this video, please click like. I don't think this is an extreme video. So please click like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any comments, questions down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.